Can AI-powered solar boats save our oceans? Every year, an estimated 11 million metric tons of plastic enters our oceans. From strangling sea turtles to forming vast floating garbage patches, plastic pollution threatens marine life, human health, and future of our planet. But a new wave of innovation is emerging, powered not by fossil fuel, but by the sun and artificial intelligence. In this video, we will explore how solar-powered AI control boats are becoming powerful tools in the fight against plastic pollution, and how even individuals and small teams are building their own vessels to make a difference. Solar-powered boats are no longer just a futuristic concept. They first captured global attention when the Turanor Planet Solar, the world's largest solar-powered boat, successfully circumnavigated the globe using only energy from the sun. Since then, solar marine technology has advanced rapidly. With the plummeting cost of solar panels and batteries, solar-powered propulsion is becoming mainstream. Luxury yachts like the Silent Yacht Series and the Aura 51 Smart Electric are now commercially available. Bold new concepts such as the Florida, a solar sailing super yacht, showcase the potential of green marine transportation. But can these sleek vessels do more than serve as a toy for the ultra rich? Can they actually help solve one of the most pressing environmental challenges, that is, cleaning up rivers, oceans, and the Great Pacific garbage patch? The answer is yes. Let's meet the fleet. A new generation of AI-powered solar boats is already making an impact. The first one worthy of mentioning is the Interceptor by Ocean Cleanup. It can extract several tons of waste daily from heavily polluted rivers. Next up, we have the Manta, a hybrid catamaran by Red Marine that is designed to collect and process ocean waste at scale. In the fleet are also smaller vessels like RoboCollect, Clearbot, developed in Hong Kong, and student design ADDRAR, or Autonomous Debris Detection and Removal Aquatic Robot. They are tackling waste in shallow waters, rivers, harbors, and near shorelines. For example, the Clearbot can remove up to 200 kilograms of debris in a single trip, while the ADDRAR autonomously collects 10 kilograms using GPS navigation. These boats are not just collecting bottles and bags. Advanced boats like the Manta and its sub-boats Mobula 8 and 10 are now targeting microplastics, which are those tiny fragments that slip through traditional filtration systems. Using skimming nets, floating barriers, and AI for precision navigation, these vessels can sweep vast areas more effectively than ever before. It's all good that we can collect all that plastic, but where would it end up? Landfills are not the solution, and therefore the next frontier in this fight is onboard waste processing. The upcoming Manta vessel, for example, will include facilities to shred the plastic and even convert it into fuel through pyrolysis, which is a chemical process that breaks down plastic without burning it. This fuel can then power the vessel itself creating a partially self-sustaining loop. Some systems are even being designed to address oil spills and surface pollutants, adding another layer to their utility. Studies have suggested that most ocean plastic enters via rivers. This means that intercepting waste upstream before it even reaches the sea is crucial. While larger boats like the Manta will patrol open waters, smaller agile vessels are ideal for navigating rivers, deltas, and estuaries. While these boats offer a powerful cleanup solution, they're not a silver bullet. We need entire fleets operating continuously to address the current crisis. The only real long-term solution is to stop plastic from entering the waterways in the first place. That means cutting plastic use at the source, redesigning, packaging, improving waste management, and promoting reduce, reuse, recycle mantra with a renewed focus on the first two. The fusion of solar energy and AI is giving us new tools to clean our oceans, 
tools that are accessible, scalable, and increasingly affordable. What started as high-tech prototypes are now becoming practical machines for anyone, from governments to grassroots innovators. With schematics becoming open source, everyone will be able to play their part in cleaning up our oceans. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.